Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a video about what I have inside my baby bag. So I originally really wanted to get some fancy um, designer baby bag, but that never happened. Um, instead, I actually have this overnight bag. Um, this is what it looks like. And it was actually one of these um, foxy jeans bags. And it was a bag that I used for like school and overnight and when I went um, on trips like just you know to Montreal, Toronto or something like that. And um, I ended up using this as my baby bag. I planned to just do it temporarily and then over time I found it was practical enough that there was no need to actually go out and get a baby bag. And I actually found that it was kind of a lot cooler than some of the baby bags I found in the stores. So it still felt like me and funky and stylish and it has a lot of pockets and zippers and even pockets within so it worked out really great. So to get started, so inside my baby bag of course you've got the diapers which are absolutely essential. I usually, my number, magic number was six diapers. I found this was enough to get me through a good couple hours and made me feel secure enough that I wouldn't feel like I'm running out by the end of whatever the trip was. Uh, next would be, I had a number of these diaper disposable bags and then they were kind of like pre-scented. And um, these are really, really great. I didn't get the little dispenser that it went in. It was just in a box where I put it in a little baggie. And these were super essential to whenever you're um, traveling around and changing diapers baby. My son is here. Um, I had some sanitary pads. Uh, of course, you know, for those essential first six to eight weeks after delivery, um, these are really important. I was one of the really, really lucky ones that once I was breastfeeding, um, I didn't get my period back until I was about, my son was about six to eight months. Okay, okay, it was about six to eight months, um, but those were essential right after delivery. Then I have a changing pad. Um, this came with, I have a diaper caddy and this came with my diaper caddy. And so it's, a, it's inside it's plastic like that, and it folds up all nice and neat. And this is huge. It's really great um, for traveling around with. And even if you're going to like those um, uh, change rooms or diaper, um, uh, baby, don't, don't touch that, the bathroom, um, the, you'd have like, you know, those changing tables, but they would never have anything over top of it, so this was really great to do any changing and not have to worry about making a mess, and then of course, I had my wipes, um, this is just like a Huggies one, I actually don't like Huggies diapers, but, um, someone had given me this, so I use this as my, um, dispenser for all my wipes. And I always carry around some diaper rash cream. My baby was pretty good. He didn't really have too many rashes, but occasionally would. And I found it was really helpful just to have two of a lot of things. So diaper cream was one of those things that I'd have two of. And uh -oh. it's okay. And um, I have two of these, so I keep one at home and one in my diaper bag. Next. Um, I had this cute little container for his, uh, soother, and, um, I would either have two soothers or I at least keep the one in here, and then I have the handy dandy soother tether, and this took me a while to finally get. Originally, I was like, why do I need this? The baby will just, he'll just have it in his mouth. What's the big deal? Um, but over time, I realized how much, do you want this? Okay. There you go. And I realized how much he would drop his soother. And so then, of course, when he drops it, then you have to go and sanitize it, and it would get really annoying. So I finally got one of these. I think this was the Enuk brand. But I really like this one because it was made out of, like, a, I don't know what kind. It's a stretchy type of plastic. And I thought this was a lot better than some of the material type ones because if it gets dirty, you know, because the baby drools and things get all over and food or whatever and milk gets spilled on it so this was great because it's just easy clean up it always felt clean and didn't get dirty easily next is my life-saving breast um nursing cover sorry not breast nursing cover just nursing cover um i was breastfeeding so 
I um, would have this. These were really great and a money saving tip. I actually got this online. I think I bought it from, it was either eBay or Amazon. I can't quite remember. Um, but a lot of these I found in the stores. They were like 40 to $60 and I bought this on, I th I'm pretty sure it was eBay for like $8 or $10. It was like a fraction of the cost. I got myself one, my best friend one, and they were awesome. They came in different sizes and really cute prints. And so it just comes with this um, strap and then you just hang it over your head and it has some boning in the top so that it would keep it sort of open. So that way when you're feeding baby, you could uh, still make eye contact and they wouldn't feel like they're just buried underneath this sheet. And for the most part, he enjoyed it because he's nice and cozy and covered and then you feel great. You don't have to feel like you have to hide in a bathroom or hide somewhere random. You could still just be in public and um, be amongst your friends and be breastfeeding and it was great. So. So this was um, my rest, uh, my nursing cover and I would need to keep it in my bag at all times. It was one of those different things I never want to leave the house with without and then it came in this cute little pouch as well. So down to like the main sort of essentials, um, I would pack an extra outfit. I keep my stuff in little Ziploc bags because I originally just kind of dumped everything in the bag but then I would find that you would have a hard time looking for stuff and waste time and so um, I got this idea from a friend of mine um, she has an old her son is um, about a year or two older than mine and I noticed one day that we got on vacation and she had like pulled out all these Ziploc bags and she had every outfit in a different Ziploc bag and I thought this was phenomenal so I got that idea and I started doing um, the same thing so I'd have uh, different Ziploc bags so this would be a full outfit of in here I had um, this is like pants, a shirt, some socks. Um, socks are always, extra socks are always great. Um, so especially in the newborn stage when you're facing blowouts and it would always be mind boggling how easily it is to wreck an outfit. So you definitely have to keep another on hand. Um, some people would keep at least two. And for me, I would at least keep the one. And then my next thing was that I had a whole set of pajamas. So either a onesie or a two-piece pajama set. And then that way that even if he got, went through two outfits and, and soiled them, then that's fine because I at least had a pajama. And then when you're a baby, you can get away with walking around a store in pajamas and you're super cute. So it would work out perfectly. Um, here are some receiving blankets. You can never have too many receiving blankets. They're great for the drooling, great for when lots and lots of people want to share baby and want to see him. So therefore you just, uh, tack these on to over your shoulder and you don't have to worry about sanitary issues. Um, here's a little toy that I'd keep trying to keep him entertained. Um, I also kept a bottle of, um... This is the pediatrician Advil. I really, really rarely try to avoid giving him anything. I think I only gave him something like once or twice and he had a really, really, really terrible, terrible cold. Um, but I always like felt more secure having it on hand. Thank you, baby. And then next, I had this really cool um, hygiene sort of set. Uh, it was given to me as a gift from uh, my pastor and his wife and so inside it had all these really great tools so it just had um, a brush and comb and one of those um, nasal aspirators um, it's a nail clipper and then there was this really cool thing to help give medicine I mean he was too young to really need that right now but it was just great having it all wrapped up in one little neat package I think this was just like a safety first brand, so it's nothing like fancy or spectacular, but it did the trick when it's all that mattered. Next, I would have, of course, bibs and um, extra little, um, what do you call it? These little guys. I don't know why I can't remember what they're called right now. Um, but I would keep an extra number of these. They're great cleaning up drool and spit up or anything like that and of course we would have um, some bibs as well 
And then I'd have another little baggie full of little toys, so little rattles and shakers and keys. And I had um, a teething little uh, giraffe rubber thing there to help with any sort of teething or just to give him something to gum on. And I didn't always carry this around, but occasionally I did. And um, I found that especially in those first couple months when I was really just sort of sorting things out and figuring out that a lot of the time of how I knew how to pack things was because I would go out, something would happen, and then I would think, oh god, I wish I packed this. And so over time that's how my bag got fuller and fuller and fuller because I started realizing I, these are all these things I should be packing so that I avoid certain disasters. So one of those disasters, because I was breastfeeding, is that if we were going out and about and running errands and doing things, sometimes you get sort of off track or you end up staying somewhere longer than you mean to or hanging out at a friend's house and then you realize, you know what, we're gonna, we want to hang out here longer, but I would need to breastfeed or, um, you know, I need, especially in the beginning, my breast might easily get engorged, but baby didn't want any more milk. So, um, I found over time that it was easier just to carry around my pump. So, I had the Medela Swing Pump. It was my absolute lifesaver. It was perfect. It was great. It's super lightweight and easy. It comes in this cute little um, tote bag, and inside you'd have like the bottle and you know the power source, the everything that you would need, and it wraps up in this cute little baggie, and it's super easy to kind of bring everywhere. Even one time I went to, we went to dinner and a movie with friends, and then of course I can't, I couldn't make it through the whole night without uh, pumping, so my I just plugged it into the car and I pumped for. 20 minutes or so um, in the car and then that got me through the rest of the movie so it was really great to travel around with and I found it very helpful and then of course because I wouldn't ever try to bother to carry a purse on top of my baby bag because that's just very cumbersome um, my baby bag also had to double as my purse so you know I'd have the bare essentials like napkins lip gloss and then of course my wallet and uh, anything like that was super helpful, obviously, to carry it. So it was great to just, if you have a kind of bag that has a separate compartment like this, that you can have sort of everything for baby in the larger part and then have like a zipper area for you to put just, you know, mommy stuff as well. Um, other last couple things that I would keep in here, uh, I would carry around an Avil bottle, um, just full of a couple Avil, just in case, you never know. Um, I even have a little cute... Um, uh, first aid kit in here so it just has like band-aids and sanitary wipes and anything like that um, in the summertime the other thing I found essential was to just carry around a bottle of sunscreen so I used the Ovino baby sunscreen and so that was really great uh, to keep in there so depending on what season it is you can carry on some sunscreen you want to see it there you go um, so you'd have sunscreen and maybe an extra hat and then of course in the winter time carry extra like mittens a little hat um, even a little scarf or extra blanket um, and that's the other thing too I would carry around so I would have the bag all packed up and then of course I would have um, an extra warm blanket as well so I found that especially if baby falls asleep somewhere and uh, you just want to you know, you don't kind of just want to leave them open. I always feel this need to cover them up somehow. Uh, so I would just kind of tie this guy, uh, wrap it up, and just sling it through the hoops of my bag. And that's how I would carry everything along. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope it's really helpful. If there's anything else that you think I'm missing or that would be also be really great to carry in your bag, please leave some comments below. And um, please stay tuned for more videos. And thanks for watching. Bye.